Hey everyone, so I have another Funko Pop update for you here. It's kind of a big one, so let's just get right into it. Um, first, we're going to start off with the non-exclusives. So, first we have um, Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. And um, I got this a uh, couple days ago from Walgreens. It's just a standard uh, pop. Just starting to collect um, Harry Potter ones, so... Here's Ron Weasley, right here, and yeah, see he has his uh, he has his uh wand here with the uh, tape around it from uh, Chamber of Secrets. So yeah, there's uh, Ron Weasley. Uh, the next one I'm gonna show you is um, Spider Gwen. They also have um, exclusives of un unhooded Spider Gwen, and then I think um, unmasked Spider Gwen. But I have just the regular one, and she comes uh, with a stand. So there she is, Spider Gwen, and she had a pretty cool costume. So, just spin that around there. So yeah, um, the other two are exclusives. One is exclusive to Hot Topic, and the other one is to Walgreens. So there's that, and then um, we have this this one, and this one's actually an exclusive. It just doesn't have a sticker. Um, it's an Amazon exclusive, seventy uh, fifth anniversary Captain America, and. Uh, it's the comic book version of Captain America. So let's just take him out. And here he is. So the regular uh, 75th anniversary Captain America is, uh, I think, like a darker blue than this. But since this is the exclusive, they just kind of made him a lighter blue. And uh, just, I guess, like lighter, slash, like, slash, like, I don't know. Just lighter uh, color instead of darker colors. So yeah, that's the Amazon exclusive Captain America. And the last one that is not an exclusive is uh, Doctor Strange. The comic book version of Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange is one of my favorite Marvel uh, heroes. So here's uh, Doctor Strange here. So you can see he's he looks exactly like he does in the comics. If you've ever read a Doctor Strange comic, you'll know, you know what he looks like. Obviously, this is exactly what he looks like in the comics. So yeah, that's Doctor Strange, and now we'll move on to the exclusives that I'm making this video for. So. San Diego Comic Con just passed, and they released. Uh, they had a like a whole big list of Funko Pops that were going to be exclusive to San Diego Comic Con only, but um, they had some that were shared exclusives with stores, so you could get ones that were going to be at San Diego Comic Con in certain stores. So I have them here, um, sorted by store. And so we're going to start off with the ones that I got from Hot Topic. So the first one from Hot Topic is this um, pajama Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And as you can see, all of them are going to say Summer Convention Exclusive because they were all exclusive from San Diego Comic Con. And um, so yeah, this one is awesome. I've been looking for A Nightmare Before Christmas, a cool one. A cool uh, Funko Pop from The Nightmare Before Christmas because I love that movie. And this one is really cool. So he comes with a stand. So here we go. Right here. And as you can see, he's got the book in his hand that he's reading to study. It's the, uh, is it the science? Yeah, the scientific method. And he's trying to figure out Christmas and everything if you haven't seen the movie. Uh, everyone has those so yeah he's in his pajamas here reading the scientific method so yeah this one is awesome one of my favorites 
And uh, so the next one I got from Hot Topic is um, BB-8. And it's thumbs up BB-8 if you've seen The Force Awakens, which everyone has. Um, there's a part in there where Finn is trying to tell BB-8 basically to lie for him. And tell him where... Well, not lie for him, but tell him where the rebel... What, where the uh, resistance base is located. So that way he can... He's basically under... He's basically telling Ray that he is with the resistance, but he doesn't know where the base is at. So BB-8 tells Ray and... Finn gives him the thumbs up, and then BB-8 gives his version of a thumbs up, which pu he pulls out like a little lighter inside of him and gives him like a flame, like a, th like a thumbs up. So this one is really cool. Really cool pop. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, here we go. And he's a bobblehead. Just, I don't know. His doesn't really bobble that much for whatever reason. And he did come with a Star Wars stand. It's just his stand kind of comes off easy. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But um, yeah, so that's BB. That's thumbs up BB-8 from Hot Topic or San Diego Comic Con, whatever. So the last one I purchased from Hot Topic is uh, Batman from Suicide Squad, and this is underwater Batman. And this one is one of my favorites as well. Actually, it didn't start out as one of my favorites, and it kind of grew to be one of my favorites because I didn't really want this one. But uh, I saw it unboxed in a picture, and I was like, you know what? I have to have it. It's just such a cool-looking pops. And um, I, I'm so excited for Suicide Squad, so this one will be added to my Suicide Squad collection. So, yeah, this is Underwater Batman. And as you see, he's got a Batarang here. So, yeah, um, that's, that's all the ones I got that were shared with Hot Topic. Now we'll move on to the ones that were shared with Barnes & Noble. So Barnes & Noble, I believe, got, I think, four. Four of them, if I'm not mistaken, but I got two. The two that I really wanted. So first we're going to start off with this one. Um, Violet from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And I'm going to start collecting the entire line. There's not that many. It's basically Willy Wonka, the Oompa Loompa, and then... Um, Grandpa Joe, Charlie, and then the rest of the kids. That's pretty much all, and there's honestly no exclusive in this line except for um, Violet, which I already have. So I pretty much have the hardest one to get out of the Willy Wonka line. Um, they also have um, the go Golden Willy Wonka and Golden Oompa Loompa, but I don't really want those at all. So yeah, so this is Violet as the... when she blows up into a a blueberry so yeah that's um, that's the one of the exclusives from Barnes & Noble and the last one I got from Barnes & Noble like I said I only had two um, was the Harry Potter creature three pack so um, I am a big fan of Harry Potter as you could tell from when I had like Ron Weasley and I also have a Triwizard Tournament Harry Funko Pop. So it comes with three creatures. So first it comes with the, the uh, I'm just gonna hold them because they won't stand on their own. The Cornish Pixie from um, the Chamber of Secrets. So there's that one. Then we have the, um, whoops, the Mandrake from the Chamber of Secrets as well. And this cures the the mandrake uh like the potion made from like the mandrake can cure um uh, what do you call it i'm blanking on the word right now um like if someone who was uh petrified there you go so that's what it cures and also we have here a grindelow uh from the goblet of fire when harry is in the black lake trying to complete one of the challenges for the Triwizard Tournament. So yeah, those are all three of the creatures that come in this. And that is it for the Barnes & Noble exclusives. And now last, we have the ones from GameStop. So we will do this one first. This is Cowboy Deadpool. I originally was not going to get this one, but I saw it when I went to GameStop and then I got an up-close look of it. And I was like, you know what? 
This is actually really cool. I have to have this one. So I got it. <laughs> and it's it's awesome. So he, he's wearing a cowboy hat and he's got like a a horse on a stick here. <laughs> very funny. Very it's very, very deadpool. Let's just put it that way. Oops. So yeah, that's a cowboy deadpool. Very, very cool uh, Funko Pop. Next we have this one, which everyone was trying to get. It was, and it was delayed by the way, it was um, Doctor Strange, the movie version of Doctor Strange, the new one with, uh, that's gonna come out with um, Benedict Cumberbatch. So uh, I'm super excited to see it by the way. Can't wait for it to come out. Uh, so we have, uh, here's the movie version of Doctor Strange. Um, different, much different from the comic book version. If let me just grab it to kind of compare. So, um, I mean, essentially, it's the sort of the same costume. Only um, his hood is not as high up as as the comic book version's hood, and he doesn't wear gloves. But essentially, it's sort of the same. They got the right idea, I think. Um, so yeah, here he's he's with a rune, which is I guess what he uses um, for his power. So yeah, that's the movie version of Doctor Strange, which a lot of people were trying to get this one, and a lot of people kept calling about it. So it's good that I reserved it. So the last thing I got from GameStop that was San Diego Comic Con exclusive was the X Men Dorbs three pack, and like I said before, I'm not really a Dorbs person. I'm actually starting to become one slowly, but um, yeah, anyways, I couldn't resist this because I love the X-Men, and so um, let's just open this up, all right, so first one we have here is um, brown suit Wolverine, so uh, Wolverine and his brown suit, I actually have a comic that uh, I'm gonna show you guys in another video. Uh, I have a comic of the with uh, Wolverine in the brown suit. So yeah, that's, this is just. I think he looks cool in his original like brown suit. So yeah, there's Wolverine. Next we have Iceman, which this was one of my favorites out of all the ones I got. He's he's like you could see like right through him because he's supposed to be ice. So yeah. This one's one of my favorites. It's very, very cool how they did that. So yeah, that's Iceman. And the last one in here is Colossus. And if you don't know who Colossus is, he's obviously in the X-Men, but he was also in the Deadpool movie because Deadpool uh, knows the X-Men. If you didn't know that, which I doubt you didn't, because everyone knows that. So yeah, we have um, Colossus. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I'm going to come out with um, some more videos soon. And another vlog should be coming up uh, within the week or so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Funko Pop update. And I will see you guys later.